like to take this opportunity to recognize Howard Alderman for the time and work he's devoted to our association this year as president. We are so fortunate as an association to have had continuously great leadership that builds on the selfless and significant work of our predecessors. Howard, you have strengthened our organization during challenging times, and I'd like to thank you and your administration for all you've done for PIA and for the work I know you will continue to do on our behalf. I'd also like to introduce my family who is here tonight to support me as always. My brother Ed, who is also in the insurance business and a fellow PIA member, and his wife Barbara. His son Matthew, who I'm sure will be here momentarily. He's also in the insurance business. Um, my brother Andy and his wife Maureen. My beautiful daughters, Rachel and Katie, a physical therapist and a music teacher. And my son David, who graduates in May as an electrical engineer. As you might imagine, I'm really proud of this guy. And of course, my lovely wife, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, my lovely wife of 28 years, Shirley, who I'd like to thank her for her love and support through thick and thin, and for what has ultimately been a lifetime of happiness. Our family know, know us best, for better or worse. And so to avoid having you speak with any of them about me tonight, I'll just tell you what they'd say if you did. <laughs> Rachel will tell you I am tolerant. I, along with my wife Shirley, actually let her dye her hair a rainbow of colors through her childhood. <laughs> Popsicle blue, fire engine red, and other colors that I don't even think have names. And her arguments were flawless. Too young for a real job, she already had cleared the colors with the family she babysat for. So when else could she express herself like this? When my daughter Katie was young, and my wife was deep in the carpool, carpool phase of her life, Katie had a friend who was proudly telling the carpool of girls that her father was a doctor. Katie, who had heard several discussions at home resulting from several tickets I've received for driving a leap bit beyond the speed limit, <laughs> chirped back, well, my dad's a maniac. <laughs> and with that moment, the discussion of who had the coolest dad had ended. <laughs> Issues of driving ability aside, my family would also share that I'm a second generation insurance agent. My father graduated as a physical education teacher and realized it would be difficult to raise a family on 6,500 bucks a year. So in 1965, he decided to become an insurance agent, opened his own agency, and he did much better. In fact, he was a director of PIA, then known as the Mutual Insurance Agency of Connecticut. In seventh grade, I was asked what I wanted to do when I grew up. Proudly, I responded that I too wanted to be an insurance agent. I was actually going to the class who had any answer to that question. <laughs> I pursued an education in risk management and continued the family business. This is a career that has been good to me and I've never looked back or regretted my decision. Moving to the next generation, my son David, who's in his 20s now, was also asked when he was in middle school what he wanted to be when he grew up. As you might expect, he said he wanted to be an agent also for the FBI. <laughs> he said it was cool like a policeman, but you get to dress like an insurance agent. <laughs> Sorry. I know David, like his sisters, will be successful in his chosen field. But I'm here tonight to discuss our shared business, insurance. The strongest product we offer our clients is trust. The confidence that comes from working with a member of your community who you know cares about you, your family, and their assets. I'm not sure which comes first, trust or success for an agent? But I know that insurance is a relationship industry, and the most successful among us have a common characteristic, which makes us stand out from our competitors. Looking around this room, I can see Boy Scout leaders, Little League coaches, public servants, Sunday school teachers, civic volunteers, major donors of time and real money to local community causes. This is the work that makes you part of your community, 
It is a work you should be most proud of. It is a work we need to do more of and which we need to raise awareness about. So I urge everyone here tonight to take a moment and stop right in business. We often hear the old cliche that you need to think out of the box to be successful. Use that philosophy for more than binding business. Give back to your community. If you don't have money, donate time. If you don't have time, donate money. Donate a coat. Adopt a family for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Join a local civic organization. And since this is the best advantage we have, I can tell you that our industry, agencies and carriers alike, need to reach out more. We don't do nearly as good a job as we could or should to raise awareness of the good work we do and the community benefits we provide. We need to do more for our communities. Just as importantly, we need to tell them we're doing it. Our carriers can help. GEICO's rolling in money that never goes back to the local communities from which it came. When was the last time you heard one of your neighbors say, boy, that lizard really cares about our town? <laughs> These behemoth national direct riders just don't care about the communities from which they are extracting money. Our carriers can use their resources to spread the simple yet powerful message brought to you by your friendly neighborhood agent. PIA is doing its part to help, but we can't do it alone. Carriers, agencies, and agents as individuals must do our part. Tomorrow we will recognize one of our own with an award for community service. It would be great if every year Nominations for that award outnumbered all others. But we, the agents, are the ones that need to bring it. Put our time and resources where they belong. One of my favorite sayings applies here. I first heard it when I was being initiated into the Lions Club some 25 years ago. Volunteerism is the rent we pay for the space you occupy on Earth. Our business puts us in a fortunate position to give back, and through your work and your contribution to the community may not necessarily be related they don't have to be mutually exclusive. If your business is doing well, find a way to give back. If you invest in your community, I guarantee the returns will come. By your presence here today, you have demonstrated the inclination and ability to do more than just make money for yourself. As PIA members, you avail yourself to the best education and professional network in our state. And your work for your association adds to our common good. The essence of PIA is professionalism. The essence of humanity is volunteerism. They go hand in hand. I'd like to congratulate Shannon Rabbit, the incoming president of the Young Insurance Professionals, and invite her to join me in calling on our colleagues to make an effort this year to do just a little more beyond our everyday work to make a living. This year, in addition to your work at your business and with PIA, I urge you to look around and find one more way to give back. Mentor a young insurance agent. They're the future of our industry. Vince Lombardi once said to his beloved Green Bay Packers, we will pursue perfection and catch excellence in the process. No one's perfect, but every step we take towards the betterment of your community brings us a little closer. Thank you.